Hello everyone, Flying Duchy here, and welcome back to Victoria 3 with a new run. Um, you have voted, we have 800 votes on the poll, so thank you so much for voting with so many people. And we are going to play as uh, New Granada and form Grand Colombia. So that is going to be uh, a run with some achievements. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, load up the new game. Uh, last uh, re run as Japan, we did the Learn the Game objective, and we got the achievement for it. There are also three achievements for these three objectives. And I think this is a great run for the Egalitarian Society objective. Um, power to the people, become a guiding beacon of liberty and equality for the world to look up to. By assuring opportunity and raising standard of living across your nation. We're going to go for that one. Of course, we're not going to pick any of these countries, but we are going to play as our country that we want to play as. So I'm on patch 1.1.1. I'm using a couple of mods. They are in the description of the video. So if you want to know which mods I'm using, uh, there are some really good mods in there. And you can find them in the description of the video. Um, yeah, so let's play as uh, New Granada over here. The other vote was Greece and Forum Byzantium. Uh, maybe later in this uh, this game, but for now we're going to play as New Granada. And we will restore Gran Colombia. Uh, we start as a minor power, 34 with 15 battalions, we have no fleet. We are already a republic. 1.6 million, we are Catholic. We are North Andean culture. And we have the Hispanophone trade, Spanish uh, cultures. So Mexican, Spanish, North Andean, South Andean, Platinian. And so on. And we have the European heritage. So uh, we can have a lot of cultures accepted if we go to the uh, four last culture law. The one before multiculturalism. 23% literacy. So we cannot get the achievement to go to uh, 95 below 20. And this is the story. Uh, with the dis dissolution of Gran Colombia in 1830, that's six years ago. Uh, New Granada stands alone and divided between its liberal and conservative factions. Will Colombia achieve greatness once more? Oh yes we will. Because Dutchie is in power and then everyone knows that everything will go fine. <clears throat> we have achievements av available, but you don't need RMN mode. I think it's time to jump into the game. So we have the Egalitarian Society uh, entries that will pop up in the journal. Um, that's going to be the goal of this run. And of course we will try to conquer a lot of lands as well. Um, let's have a look. I need to pin my interest groups here. Uh, do I want the market tab here? Nah. I'll just take a look at the market myself. I don't like to put the states here. I just want my commanders to be over here. But we have no commanders at the start of the game. Alright. Welcome back to a new game, guys. We have a lot of changes in 1.1 compared to 1.0. Uh, well, a lot, yeah. There was a lot of uh, bug fixing, a lot of new features are in the game. Uh, let's start with the politics one over here. Uh, there is now a difference in how legitimate your government is. We start with 89 government legitimacy, and when you are in this part over here, um, between 75 and 90, we get more loyalists. Uh, I don't know why this is minus. Maybe the game needs to uh, run for a bit. And the higher your legitimacy, the quicker you do your loss still. That's still the same thing. But if you go below 50, you will get opposition. The interest approval will go down. You get more radicals. And when you are at 25, you cannot enact loss at all. So you really want to prevent to go below 25. And if you go to uh, 90 to 100, you have minus 50% enactment time. So you're going to get those laws super quickly. Um, we do have a um, republic. So I think we just let the people vote in the next election. That is in 1837. And then we will take a look at the law changes. What I really want to do is uh, get my colonial uh, laws up at the start of the game. You could do exploitation and resettlement. Now with resettlement, people will go quicker to the unincorporated states. And for this one, you get more uh, throughput in your state, so you get more stuff from it. Hmm. They are both fine, actually, for us, because we want to do resettlement and we want to do exploitation. 
So I think I'm going with exploitation because uh, the plan is to just uh, make everything incorporated in Af in America and just make maybe some colonies in Africa as well. Let's just start with this one. Uh, we have the armed forces in the cabinet, I think. Yes, and they will vote for this law, so that's uh, really nice. Now let's start with exploitation. There we go. It cannot stall, so we will get it eventually. That will make our bu bureaucracy go down a little bit. Now, when we have to, uh, now we're going to take a look at our uh, income. I think we will just tax the hell out of people. It will lower the legitimacy, and we get more radicals from standard of living decreases. But I think you want to start taxing the people and just start building and give them less wages. I, th I will try to do this. If people get too angry, I will change this around. Now we have a lot of uh, authority because we still have wealth voting. We have racial segregation. We have a state religion. But let's see what we can make a lot of money from. I think services is a really good one to, to pick. It's a uh, relatively low authority for the most money um, and tobacco is really low for a lot of money do I want to take the uh, luxury clothes and coffee at once let's do it and then I'm gonna keep the 200 and with the 200 I'm going to bolster the intelligentsia I think or maybe the industrialists hmm no let's go with the intelligentsia because we also have the egalitarian society thing going on Okay, we want to form Gran Colombia, and you can do that in the culture step here, in nation formation. Uh, so we have the Amazonian culture over here, we have the Ecuadorian culture, South Andean, Quechua. I have really no idea how to pronounce it. And I think that Amazonian is accepted. should be I think I think it's part of well maybe not actually uh, let's have a look I need to go here population Amazonian okay A Amazonian culture is discriminated so the the people over here are at the moment discriminated so we have to change those laws as well at some point very important uh, let's go back to the tab here so if you want to form Gran, Gran Colombia we need to uh, control six of the eight Gran Colombian state re uh, regions. And that includes Ecuador and the three states in Venezuela. If we have uh, two of these four, we can form our nation. So my goal is to puppet these two, click the button and then integrate them to my country. There is no other thing that you can get by forming a nation. And we need nationalism. So the goal at the start is, I think, to go to nationalism. Nationalism is over here. But for this one we need mass communication. Which is over here. So let's start with that one. And then I think we need to pick another society tech to make this to go down a bit more. It's now five years, that is a bit too long for technologies. Let's start with that technology. Um, let's have a look at my journal. Is there anything here that is specific for this region? Exploit the Amazon. We will do this at some point. Reaching out. Get the university. We have no university. We only have the 50 st uh, starting uh, innovation. And we have no spread because we have no extra. Survey. Expedition to the, to the Nile. Congo River. No, we have nothing special over here okay so let's have a look here we have unused construction production we have more interests let's uh, get our interest declared in ecuador because we want to go there if i don't have an interest there i cannot take it and artillery is a bit expensive but it's super low and we have an uh trade route from clippers but we will take a look at that when we let the game run so we have a couple of buildings at the start, a textile mill, furniture, and government administration. We have some rice farms, maize farms, livestock ranges, one of them. Two, three coffee plantations, two cotton plantations, four tobacco, three sugar, one banana, 
one logging camp only and a fishing wharf and that's it so we can uh, build coal and iron in our country we cannot build sulfur so we have to start colonizing this region because there is sulfur that will be my goal i think it's over here yeah you can have 25 in the Ma mapuche area so it will be my goal to colonize oh and here as well 28 of them Yeah, so we want to colonize everything down there. Um, so, we also have no construction sector at the start of the game. So let's start with one of them. And we have a couple of states we can build it in. Uh, Panama. Antokia. Causa or Cauca, I think Causa. Cundinamarca. Uh, Guaviare and... The New Grenadine Amazonas. Now, the most people live in these two states. This is our capital state, and this is the yeah the, the more richer state. So I will build a construction sector over here. And then also, what we need to do, we are now at wooden buildings, but I want to go to iron frame buildings. And for this one, we need tools and iron. Um, making iron is going to take a long time, so I might start importing routes for it. But let's uh, unpause the video. I think uh, we are ready. Uh, we could go to war immediately with Venezuela or Ecuador. But the thing is that uh, most of the time I think France will go against us. So we need to use our influence points to improve relations with the people that have an interest here. And that is Great Britain and France and the USA as well. That we are caring the most for. Now let's improve improve with these two and maybe we can get a trade uh, thing from them as well what do we need we need porcelain uh, but we don't need that much of it uh, we need some luxury clothes we have only 62 convoys oof that's absolutely nothing we need wood can I get wood without convoys? Yes. Grau Paran. That is the uh, revolter of Brazil, I think. Well, let's go over it, so that we have a little bit more of it. Um, the other things are not that... ...important. Maybe we should get a little bit of luxury clothes as well. On the British market. Use a little bit of our convoys. And what I will do is actually put this on iron frame buildings. And then I will just start importing what we need. And what I also can do is make my government even more legit, uh, legitimate. Not with the Catholic, I guess the landowners. Yeah, if I do this... Then we will have minus 50% enactment time. And they want to join this party, so... Let's go for it. And then this should go very, very quickly. The colonial exploitation. Oh yeah, it's going super quickly now. Nice. We have the encouraged liberal thought. We need the intelligentsia to be powerful and be part of the government. And we need to enact slavery banned. We have slavery this point yes it is horrible can I do something about the government yes we can go to filing cabinets but then we need paper and we don't have paper but if I do this can I import paper why is paper not in the list it needs to update there it is import paper Let's get this from the French. Might get to get some paper from the, Brit the British as well. But yeah, we are losing all our convoys. Uh, apparently this one is not working, so I'm going to put that one away. What's this? Do we have a trade agreement? No, these are owned by me. Okay, so we, have, we are only owning all of this. 
Okay, let's get some more paper from the British. There we go. Then paper is at least normal price. Later on we will uh, solve this, of course. And when we have this built and we go to the iron frame buildings, we need to start importing um, some iron. I will build the tooling workshop myself. Okay, we are using clippers somewhere. Oh yeah, my port. So we need some of it to come in. Uh, let's get some from the British market then. There we go. And what about... Oh, I took the artillery away. Artillery, where are you? There. Yeah, we need it, guys. Uh, we, will we have to keep those straight routes. It's unproductive, but we need it. So. Okay, now the construction sector is built. Uh, let's start making tools with wood at the start of the game and then yeah we have uh, a problem we need iron and stuff now you should tell me you tell us very soon and we are very lucky with our colonial uh, law over here we have colonial exploitation we can start colonizing uh, but we can't do that right now because we need an interest here so I will put my interest here for now. Then we need to wait until we can do that law. Uh, we still have a very high government legitimacy, so what can we do with the conservatives? We can only go back to national supremacy, but I want to go to cultural exclusion. We can't change anything here. We want to stay a professional army. We can get national guard, but then we get even more bureaucracy that we need. Well, maybe we are not going to change anything for a while. I think we're not going to do any laws at the start of the game. Our income is going up. Now we need iron and tools. Can I import iron? Not really. Not really. Let's import anyway. Okay, it's going up and we are actually importing it. Okay, that's good. But we have no tools at this moment. Oh. But we are working on the tooling industry. So let's do it for this like... Uh, for a little bit. Why do we have... We are, why are we losing so much bureaucracy suddenly? Oh yeah, my trade routes are costing so much bureaucracy. No, I forgot about it. No, no. Oh no. Well. We have to cancel them. Because we are losing too much money. Yeah. So we might have to go back to the uh, wooden buildings. Oh, but then it's going to take a really long time. It's just going to be a slow start, that's for sure. Uh, we could improve with someone else that is in the region. Maybe Brazil? Well, I think Brazil is going to be an enemy. Maybe the Netherlands or something. Play for power. Intelligentsia can get more. Yes, we want that. Um, I might have to put my governments back to simple. Yeah, I think we have no other option. We are going to lose out of a lot of money. Let me cancel my... Um, my trade routes because this is costing us way too much money there are some things that we don't have if i do this i know that we have the bureaucracy now but we have no uh, tariffs coming in 
What do I really need? Well, when I right click there, it's going away. Yeah, we need more wood. That is just something I really need. We can get it from Brazil. And we need iron. Don't really care about these things. Yet. Maybe we should do it like this so we have a surplus of bureaucracy. Do we have the uh, colony things? Yes, so I will start colonizing here, here, and here. Takes a long time, but at least we are going for it. Yeah, tools. I'm working on it, really. We really want to go to the iron tools as quickly as we can. But then we need more iron! We're having uh, too much money now, so I guess I will build one more construction sector. And let's build that one in the capital. Now we are losing out of money. It's a bit meh. And this is full, you are... Uh, yeah, wasting money, so I'm gonna want to do this. I think we can go to speed 5. It will go very quickly, so I need to uh, put my left hand on the spacebar here. Okay, there's the elections coming in. We are now having extra construction sector in. So we are starting to build a little bit quicker. It is, of course, super expensive. Um, the tools. Can I get an import route for tools? I can get them from free from Brazil. Well, let's do that one. Brazil declared us to, to a rival. Okay. I cannot rival. Oh, I can. Let's declare rival on you then. And let's improve with America. Oh my god, what happened to Peru, Bolivia? They are one country. Holy shit. Can I import more here? A little bit. Yeah, this is going to be very costly. At the start of the game. Partisan papers. We can get the conservatives stronger. We have no paper mills. Well, then we do that one. There's no better option. Right. In new elections. We have 85 legitimacy. Who wants to come in? You? No. You? No. You? No. There is just nothing I can do. This will be the uh, government for a while. Can't go to census coverage. We can't. We can go to national guard. That will be a thing I want to do. I want to go to dedicated police force. But that also opens all these new institutions, and we don't have any bureaucracy that needs to wait. Just keep improving with these countries, and when they are getting a good relation, we are going to uh, go to war. We have no fleet, so we cannot go overseas. What if I go and puppet you? I can't, because they are not in the list, of course. Hmm. I wonder. Well, Brazil will join Venezuela, because they are my rival. There we go. We are getting our tooling workshop in. There we go. Yeah, the construction sector is going to get that. Um, then I want iron, I think. We can only build iron over in Antigua. So let's build at least five of these. How long is that going to take? 28 weeks per. Oh my god.
What is my construction cost? 10,000. Because iron is too expensive. And if I do this, I lose out of taxation capacity. But maybe my construction goods are going down a little bit. Nah, it's just horrible. <laughs> I'm gonna cancel that one. Uh, we don't need that anymore, indeed. Um, I want to keep the wood one. Let's cancel that one. Yeah. The playful power. Fernando de Ventimilla, leader of the Intelligentsia, has made a remarkable playful power in the capital. Oh, we can make them even stronger. Yes. Would love to. First technology is coming in soon. And the first iron mines are coming in. Are people going to work here completely? Yes, but we just don't we just need more iron. But that is coming when we are building the mines, so it should get better soon. We cannot do any better production method at the start of the game. So we just need to build a couple of these mines before we can do anything else. Okay, France is now cordial. It's also because we are trading with you, I think. No, we are not trading anymore with you, but that's fine. Okay, we have the mass communication. We have more authority. Now, we could go to nationalism. But it takes five years, so I think we need to do something above here. For example, banking, get more minting. Stock exchange, minus 25% trade route bureaucracy cost. Oh! But it's spreading to me, so I'm not going to use my points for the spread. The base weekly to knowledge bits 47. Base, literacy, unspent innovation and censorship. And we are doing these three things. Okay. So we are spending how much on research then? Well, we need to click a, a technology first. Um, mm -hmm. We don't really care about that one, but it's a cheap one. So if I do this... Why do we have 10 unspent innovation? We are using 50. But we can do 85, so we are losing 35, apparently. But over here it doesn't tell you. So it's still unclear how it works to me, the whole technology uh, thing. Why do they? Why did they make it like that? I just don't understand it. Hey guys, we need more iron! Our iron prices need to go down. Come work in this very profitable building. Everyone should uh, work here. Some people want to uh, have slavery banned, but the radicalism is super low. But we have very high support. If I do this, what happens? Well, I can't because no one is in the government that wants to do this. So, can't change it. Right. Still way too expensive. Yep. Need to keep working on that. Let's uh, lower the wages even more. Uh, can I get another taxation on liquor? Meh. That's not gonna help. Gonna keep doing it like this for a bit. Yes, we need ports there, but we can't. We have no, we have no time to build ports. That's just the whole thing. <laughs> we have no time. Hey, work on voice. That's not bad. I need those iron mines in, so I can put my construction sector higher up. It's still way too expensive. And wood as well, by the way. Our wood is too expensive. 
And we have the Amazon rainforest, so that is interesting, right? Uh, we can lose a bit of authority. Okay, iron price should go down, and that, that should help my construction. Yes, it's, we are almost breaking even. Very good. Uh, then it's time to put my tooling workshop on iron tools. Then we are making too many tools, yes, but we can use those tools in other things. For example, well, we can do this maybe. To make a bit more fruit and sugar, but we don't need. We can do harvesting tools. One. Uh, do we want anything of this? Not really. Get a couple of tools here. And let's get a butchering tools there. And let's go for the sawmill so we make more wood. That is also helping. We have no clippers, right? So let's not go to that one yet. Okay. And uh, we don't need hardwood. Not yet. This will make us use a bit more tools. They are still cheap, so that is really good for us. Just need more iron. It's the only thing we need. Okay, there's a stock exchange. And the lath is now available. Uh, we can make more furniture. Let it class not gonna happen. Die workshops, maybe? Do we have dies? No. Don't make any dies yet. Not gonna uh, change that one. Uh, but do we make all of this? Yeah, but we don't need more furniture. Really? Are people gonna buy more furniture now it is cheap? No, people are, people are just leaving this working space, so let's go back to the handcrafted uh, things. Alright. It's really not giving more. Now, our grain price is uh, really high, really. That is horrible. But we need to build more farms. But we have no time! I can only do so many things! <laughs> I am losing money, which is horrible. But the iron prices are still going down. Which is really needed. Hidden communities. Oh, we can do that one. That is fine. Okay, people are getting a bit cordial with me. Maybe we should start trying a war. And all the... Wait, why do I lose so much... Influence, suddenly. What happened? Oh, they broke the rivalry. Oh. And then mine is getting broken as well. <clears throat> then we do it like this for now. Alright. That is fine. Okay, our economy is balancing on the edge. It is ridiculous. We are losing our rank. We are losing our interest. We are having zero interest. Can I actually puppet you at all? No. I can. So why are why is the I cannot puppet because my rank is too low, I guess. Uh oh. That's not good. <laughs> I cannot do anything. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, let's just work on our, uh, our income and stuff then. I guess I have to do uh, whatever I can here to make as much money. I don't have any radicals at all, really. People are very happy with me at the moment. But yeah, I don't have money for uh, a war right now. Let's just try to fix our economy first by getting iron cheap. It should make a big difference. Uh, we are still only making a little bit. 
We have an earthquake. No. Well, it's only 20%. That will go away over time. Uh, maybe it's time to get some of this. Then we use 18 convoys. But it makes things cheaper. So maybe we should indeed do this. Uh, let's import a little bit from uh, the French. Yeah, it makes things so much better. And we need clippers. We just need it. Let's get them from Brazil. Because that is not, not costing any convoys. But... Oof. We are losing 800 taxes. Oh, that is new, I think. That you can see how much taxes you are losing. Oh, that last trade route is not worth it. The clipper one. I'm going to remove that one. Yeah, then we make a thousand. Okay, the iron is coming in. Good. Maybe this can fix our economy a bit. Uh, we don't need the iron trade routes anymore, so we will remove those. People are taking our uh, tools away. Damn it. Okay. Okay, now it's getting a bit better in again. Yeah, small arms is still expensive. Can I get another small import with the British? Yeah, that is making a huge difference. Yeah, our port is using clippers, so that makes sense, right? <laughs> we need uh, we need to make our own clippers. <laughs> I could go to Anchorage. Then we lose convoys. We need those convoys. If I do this, then we don't have enough convoys for the trade uh, thing. So we have to do this. Yeah, we just need a shipyard to make our own convoys. We have empiricism now unlocked, so we have a bit more influence. How expensive is national nationalism? It's three years. I think it's still too much. I want to do one more technology. I guess I have to go for the banking one. And then we go for nationalism. There we go. Okay, that is the last iron building. Why? Oh yeah, because we're not building. So the iron price is gone. Um, so what to do next? We could go uh, build our own clippers to get rid of that trade route. We can just take a look at the market. Start making clothes and furniture. We still need more wood. Are we using it for the construction sector a lot? Well, not a lot. Oh yeah, because it's also not in the list. Um... I think we need to build more wood. And we do have some state trade that I did not uh, tell you guys yet. But we have uh, uh, the Amazon rainforest here for more hardwood. I guess we're going to build it over there. We have some horrible Andes trades over here. And that's it. So we can build it here and here. Uh, no one is living in, the, uh, in this state. So we are going to build it here. We're going to build the logging camp. With sawmills, yes. Okay, and now we are certainly making a good amount of money. Small conspiracy. Okay, let's do that one. Yeah, wood is getting built fairly quickly. I guess we need another one. So let's uh, get this and then we can stop the trade route. Uh, sell orders, trade routes. Yes, let's cancel the trade route. Yeah, it's unproductive but it's helping a lot. So uh, let's get rid of the 140 wood here.
Do we have an uh, shortage right now? Okay, we are going to need more tools soon. I hate it that people are taking my tools in a trade route. It is ridiculous. It really is. So I'm gonna build an extra tooling workshop. We have Napoleonic Warfare. We can now have mobile artillery. Let's have a look at that. So our army starts with the line infantry and the cannon artillery. If we go to this one, we will be a lot stronger, but we need more artillery. But I still take it. Yeah, we need our own small arms factory. That is what we need. That is very important. Let's uh, put this one in the queue. Okay, good. And the next level will give us another 60 wood and that should be good enough. Okay, very nice. It's going to fix our own economy first. I think that's the best thing to do. Okay, when they are at 50 these two, I will uh, do the war against Venezuela. And that will happen in the next video. So thanks for watching, guys. In the next video, we go try to... Uh, oh, no, we can't because we have no, uh, no interest possible. Because we have no prestige. <laughs> Can I fix this when I put my uh, government wages to the normal... The normal level. Yes. Ah. No. Yes, I can. New Granada has already an interest. Oh, we just did not have the right... Yeah. Now we can puppet them. So, in the next video we will puppet them. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And then I see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.